and welcome. Today we are going to be talking about how you can use ChatGPT to create printables to sell on Etsy. So if you are a aspiring Etsy seller who wants to make money with uh, digital or printable based products, or maybe you already have an Etsy shop and you're wondering how to leverage ChatGPT to create more products to make more passive cash, stay tuned because we are jumping into it today. It's Amy and today we're jumping into how to use ChatGPT to create printables to sell on Etsy. So let's dive into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how to get started. But before that, if you are looking to create a digital or printable based shop and you have absolutely no idea how to get started, go check out my Etsy success guide. The link is below. It is a 27 page workbook that leads you through exactly what you need to do to get started and figure out one, what type of shop to create to sell digital products, two, how to create the actual products, and three, how to sell them. So go check that out. The link is down below. All right, back to the video. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to ChatGPT. I have a free account. Uh, I don't think you need a paid version to use this for your business. So you're gonna go to ChatGPT and you are gonna start a new thread. Now, the way that I like to start these is by how to create a blank. So we're gonna enter in our niche and for the sake of this video, we're gonna pretend that my niche is personal branding or business marketing. So I'm gonna type in here how to create a marketing blueprint, right? We're gonna type that in, it's gonna give us all sorts of amazing suggestions. And what I love about this is that it's going to give you your chapters or categories that you can use for your digital products. So if I was somebody who had a shop dedicated to digital products for business owners, small business owners, Etsy shop owners, online coaches, etc., this could give me all of my categories to create my product. So I don't have to necessarily start from scratch. So category one could be define your goals and objectives, understand your target audience, do a SWOT analysis, develop your marketing strategies. So again, I used how to create a marketing blueprint. Now, I'm gonna do another example, and we are gonna say, what should be in a self love journal? Okay, so let's say that your digital product is based on self love, gratitude, whatever. This could give you all sorts of categories for you to put into your digital product. So go back up, we're gonna use this was one as an example and I'm gonna show you how to take the information it's giving you and create an actual digital product with it. So we're gonna use these numbered categories as our chapters in our workbook. So we're gonna head over to Canva and we are gonna search for a workbook, click on enter. Let's look at workbook templates and particularly which ones have the most pages because we want ones that are going to give us enough page variety. So this one has 19 pages. I'm gonna go through it, looks good to me. All right, we're gonna select customize this template and first thing I'm gonna do is change the size so that you guys can see it a little bit better and then we are going to go up here and change the name. Trust me, this is one of my biggest pet peeves in Canva is when people do not title their documents, like what are you doing? All right, there we go. So. This is going to be an example. We're basically going to fill it in. So I'm going to pretend that this is my workbook. I'm just going to put in um, some basic information, fill it out, helping you take the headache out of creating a killer online brand, right? I'm just making this up. Website.com. Okay. Now we're gonna go in and customize this as normal, um, add in our own information. I'm gonna add one of my own headshots here. That one's fine. 
and I am just customizing, right? Let's get down to actually how we use the content that was created here within the actual workbook. So we can customize all these pages, but what I wanna focus on is this page right here. And this is going to be kind of a table of contents. So let's throw in the categories into here. So first one is going to be based on goals and objectives. And we can even use this little sentence and rewrite it within there. So we're going to copy and paste it right into there. And then we're just going to look it over and maybe change it a little bit or customize it to your brand. So determine what you're, you want to achieve with your marketing efforts. I'm going to say branding efforts. Are you aiming to increase brand awareness? Okay. And I'm just going to do whatever we need to do. Number two is gonna be target audience. All right, go back here and put that into here. Customize it as you need to, make it look nice. And we are gonna fill that in for the rest of these categories. So work with me while we do that. All right, now we are going to change the style of the page just to fit our own marketing brand. So I'm using the styles feature. I'm gonna use this one. There we go. Now I'm gonna turn it, change it to white. Okay, perfect. And you can customize this however you want. Now we have our, our contents of our workbook and then we're just gonna go in and build out each, each section. Now I'm not gonna do all of these because this video would be forever long, but what I wanna do is the first part. So we are gonna pretend like this is something I'm, I'm creating. I'm gonna go to a goals and objectives sheet and we'll start building it out. So let's find a page that looks nice. I want one that has room for people to fill it out because this is a workbook. All right, so we're gonna do this one here. We're just gonna use this page as a template. Um, we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and the first one is define your goals and objectives. So how do we figure out how to create a page or pages out of this? We're gonna do another chat message, another chat prompt. So we're gonna do top five ways to define your brand goals and objectives and it's going to give you five prompts again for you to put into your page so we are going to start with brand mission and vision so we're going to go over here brand mission and vision we're going to put a little bit of some text right here. Welcome to my, our workbook. Let's get crystal clear on our, your brand, mission, vision, and what it is you want to create. Follow the prompts below and let's get started. All right, perfect. Then we're just gonna use these sections that are already filled out and customize them based on what's over here. So we are gonna start by SMART goals. So. All right, we are gonna customize this a little bit. We don't need this one, we don't need this one because this one, this page is dedicated to SMART goals. So we are gonna remove a little bit of this. We are gonna make this larger, remove that. We're gonna change the font, like we're customizing it. Then we are gonna build it out like that. So we're gonna start with copying, pasting some of this, putting it in here adjusting it boop 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 make it big enough for everyone to read 
Now, I am doing this for the sake of this video going very quickly, right? We are about 15 minutes into the timer. And just know, when you are doing this, go slower, obviously. You're not gonna be able to figure out everything word for word, but it can give you a nice blueprint to create your digital product around. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm using it as a framework to create a product. So let's jump back in. Again, this is not perfect. This is not something I'd sell. I'm creating this in minutes for the purpose of this video, but use it for inspiration and let's keep going. All right, so what you can see is in less than a minute, I have created text boxes within Canva for each of these specific prompts. All of it is what I got off of ChatGPT. And basically this is the framework for how you would create your product. You would utilize the categories and then use ChatGPT to drill down further to get inspiration. So that is my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions, if you use ChatGPT in a different way and you have suggestions, let us know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and take care. Bye.